Good morning everyone. Thanks for joining in. Today I am going to talk about a very common condition called epididymal cyst. This is a condition which usually occurs in men between the ages of 35 and 50. However, I have seen it in older men and I have also seen it in younger men and even children. If I show you the diagram of a testicle, testis, so this is a testicle. Each testicle contains miles and miles of very small, tiny little microscopic tubes called seminiferous tubules. These tubes produce sperm and also there are certain cells in the testicle which produce our male hormone, the testosterone. We're just going to focus on those tubules and the sperm. The tubules produce sperm and that sperm will run down the tubes, run down the tubes and go into this tube outside the testicle called epididymis. This epididymis, most men can feel on top of the testicle, outside the testicle. It feels like a little nobule on top of the testicle. This tube also contains a very long tube which is bent on itself several times and that forms this big tube called the epididymis. From the epididymis, which I've drawn in red, I've drawn a green tube coming out of it, which is the main duct which takes the sperm from the testicle, which goes into the epididymis, and from the epididymis, the vas, which is the main duct called the vas deferens, will take the sperm from the testicle to our genitals, where it is passed out from there for fertility. Now, not uncommonly, this tube, the epididymis, can form a little sac like a bubble on top of the head of the epididymis. This is the head of the epididymis and this is the tail of the epididymis, the bottom end. can form a little bubble of fluid collection, which is a cyst. Most men, I will strongly recommend to examine themselves regularly. Obviously, it is to rule out the risk of testicular cancer. However, today we are not talking about cancer. We are talking about a completely benign condition, which is the epididymal cyst. Now, this never turns into cancer. It's not a cancerous condition. Epididymal cyst can be very small, hardly palpable, or sometimes they, they can reach a bigger size and then can easily be palpable. They can be multiple cysts, like in this case, there are two or three cysts over there. At the bottom of it, I have drawn only one cyst. Yeah, so they can be either multiple cysts can happen at the top or the bottom or a single cyst which can happen at the top or the bottom. These two ends are the commonest site where epididymal cysts happen. Epididymal cysts are filled with very clear straw colored fluid. So what symptoms do patients get with epididymal cysts or what do they complain of? Vast majority of patients have no symptoms. The only thing they complain of, they can feel a lump on the testicle. Occasionally when the epididymal cyst is quite large or it is growing quite rapidly, in that case they can feel a bit of discomfort or feeling of heaviness in the scrotum on that side. How are epididymal cysts diagnosed? Diagnosis is pretty straightforward on clinical examination. A lump is felt on top of the epididymis which is usually painless, they are quite small and when the doctor shines a light behind the scrotum, he can see the light coming through the cyst. If this was solid lump, for example, inflammation of the epididymis or tumor of the testicle, because they are solid, the light will not go through it. If in doubt, doctor can get an ultrasound scan which will confirm epididymal cyst. So if a man feels a lump on top of the testicle or at the bottom of the testicle, what else can it be? It can be infection or inflammation of the testicle called orchitis or infection or inflammation of the epididymis called epididymitis. Both of these are very painful condition, whereas most epididymal cysts do not have pain. Another condition which is very similar to epididymal cyst and quite difficult to differentiate from epididymal cyst. Again, a benign condition is called spermatocele. As I said earlier, epididymal cysts contain very clear fluid. 
If this was a spermatocele, it will contain sperm. And if a doctor shines a torch behind the epididymal cyst, the light comes through. Whereas in a spermatocele, because the fluid is very thick, the light will not come through. Another condition called varicocele, in which the blood vessels or the veins inside the scrotum, they dilate like varicose veins in the legs. They become very dilated and very fat and very twisty. That can resemble an epididymal cyst. However, the scrotum feels like a bag of worms with varicocele, whereas epididymal cysts are very discreet, very separate and can be felt quite easily. Last but not the least, tumours of the testicle can present as lumps. As these are solid lumps, again shining a torch will not come through the lump, the light will not go through. Whereas epididymal cysts, the light will go through quite easily. Also an ultrasound scan will confirm whether this is a simple epididymal cyst or a testicular tumour. What are the complications of epididymal cyst? The main complication of epididymal cyst is twist or a torsion. Which means, like if you look at this epididymal cyst, it has got a very wide base. So it's not easy to twist it, so it can't twist easily. Whereas if you have an epididymal cyst which looks like this, then it is on a very thin pedicle and this can twist around very easily. When it twists around, it loses its blood supply and it becomes gangrenous. This is an extremely painful condition. And this requires an emergency operation because quite frequently, clinically, it is very difficult to differentiate between a twisted testicle and a twisted epididymal cyst because it is very, very painful. The difference between the two conditions is that twisted testicle happens at an earlier age in teenagers more commonly, whereas epididymal cyst happens around the age of 35 to 50, when twisted testicle in that age is extremely uncommon. This will require an emergency operation to remove this dead cyst. One way of differentiating between a twisted testicle and a twisted epididymal cyst is an ultrasound scan. Ultrasound scan will show normal blood flow to the testicle. What is the treatment for epididymal cyst? The treatment, if they are small cysts causing no trouble and they are confirmed as epididymal cyst, then they do not require any treatment and can be left alone. Cysts which are growing in size or which are very large and becoming too uncomfortable, they should be removed surgically. In the past, needles were put into the cysts to drain them and the substances put in to make them shrink. They really do not work and they increase the risk of infection in those cysts and they should not be used. So small cysts which have little or no symptoms should be left alone. Very large cysts which are causing symptoms should be surgically removed. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, then please do remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and until next time, I shall see you very soon. You take care.